Everybody, welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, episode 21 with me, Sid, and you find me poddling around, just filling things. This random generator does require a zombie, so yeah, there's a thing. Um, we've not had any real results from it, he's just doing his thing in the background. Uh, but it is Sunday, so we need to take you and go and get some, uh, some praying done. Uh, and I need to talk to the, well, I need to have a look at what's involved with getting a trade license. Um, so, what's happened, well, since last episode, I have now had four corpse deliveries. Three of which were too good to actually carve up. So, two have become zombies, one's gone into the graveyard, uh, after improvement and embalming. Uh, what else? I've been and bought the blue books for... The, from the astrologer and I've just generally been poddling around getting things done so uh, yeah however I I kind of get the feeling that we are starting to approach the end game the reason I get that feeling is because we are running out of technologies to research and the researching of the technologies is getting more and more expensive and yeah, we'll get towards the end of that old tech tree, um, that whole tech tree thing. We're running out of faith because I've been making zombies, which you know takes faith apparently. And uh, yeah, but we uh, also need more skulls. We need ten skulls, and I've only got three. I think it is. What do I want to do here? Let me let me chuck a anything particular. That we want to chuck through there. I don't think so. Uh, doesn't really matter then. We'll do one of those. There you go. I just like to keep that thing running. Because things. So over here we've got a couple of um, zombie things. 20% to both of them. So the good zombies. Um, well, reasonably qual reasonable quality zombies. You know, as, as far as zombies go. I must admit, I'm not an expert in zombie quality. Uh, <laughs> You know, I don't buy what zombie magazine or, you know, keep up with the We Road Test five new, new zombies to see which one is the best kind of thing. Um, I have got this thing going because it's this. Making these is a huge source of blue points, so that kind of goes hand in hand. Now, what have I got in here that I need to do? Oh, I've got loads. Of, oh, there's another one. We, we we need to go and talk to that was it we were going to go and see about the trade license now the merchant comes on is it quake day I think it might be quake day I don't think it's that one I don't think it's lady day or whatever that one is uh, so how about uh, how beautiful the church is well it's not and graveyard could be better yet. Yeah, it's not. We need to obviously do that. And you are not selling me anything. Communion cookies. I wonder if I can use the thingy license to unlock his higher trades. Okay. So rifle citizen gives me trade license. Aristocrat is. 60, 12, wow. Okay, let's go back. Let's go for a rightful citizen and buy a trade license. Okay. So, I had lots and lots of money. I now don't have lots and lots of money. And consequently, yeah, we are not brilliant. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, where to go now? Well, we need to sleep because we're running low on fuel we need to go and drop this off and we need to use that and that and that should give me 105 of the technologies now I was looking at I'm not sure whether to go here the art of stone allows me to make polished marble and carved piece of marble let's just have a look at theology maybe theology that's a hundred for marble grave sites, and that gives you five and four. That gives you okay. 
okay and then obviously from there we go up mm. oh, I really do not know which way to go mm. go and lock it it's one of the most really expensive ones so let's get it done we need to obviously get some more bits and pieces done anyway but let me sleep uh, also go to town <coughs> and uh, drop off this burial certificate we need to make money I'm gonna get some carrots in to get some more corpses coming which obviously ties me down a little bit but yeah we'll live with that and I am gonna hammer through a few more days so hopefully what we'll find is these are more the more jump cuts between the days from uh, from now in we're probably going like maybe a week at a time sometimes but we're early into the grind now getting the money and stuff going so back in a bit there's a skull on the wall <laughs> need a, another one I don't think you're gonna give me anything yet because you're still not happy we need to reach 20 how am I gonna reach 20 here because you've got one more skull on the wall which is 10 and then you've got blood fountains which is two each uh, and that appears to be it. I've got no idea how I get to a quality of 20 in this place. It's not there yet. Oh well, back in a bit. Eventually, these games always come down to fishing. And we're, we're trying to get frogs. I bought 10 from Clotho. We need another 12 for the perfume quest for the lady in the inn whose name escapes me. So, yeah, we're kind of grinding out the quest at the moment. And as as is the case with a lot of these games, uh, we're at a grindy stage. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, I managed to get the frogs. Um, I was fishing completely wrong, but, you know, I'm not a big fan of fishing in these games. So, I also harvested the grapes, got quite a lot of gold quality grapes, uh, made some gold quality wine, and it occurs to me that we might be able to sell that gold quality wine to the... You don't buy gold quality wine. You buy silver quality wine, but not gold. Uh, have a lot. One trade license coming up. <laughs> uh, of course, we've missed the merchant day, and uh, there goes Donkey. So, basically, keep the gold for myself. How are you doing, Donkey? I'll beat you home. Keep the gold for myself, because it's superior quality anyway, and just make and sell silver quality wine. Well, seems like a, a doable proposition. Uh, in fact, I should probably get in and make some more wine while waiting for the donkey to arrive. Um, the frogs, we've got to wait till the female lady day, uh, whatever that day is. And lust day, probably. I don't know, pride day. Could be any day. <laughs> It doesn't matter which day you pick, because you're probably going to end up upsetting somebody if you sit there and say, oh, this is so-and-so day. Right, so if I want to go and put a gold and a silver in, I've only got one gold left anyway, so let's make silver quality wine. I've got quite a bit of silver and bronze, actually, so we could sell most of that. Um, I'm a little bit wary of selling it all, because the last time I sold it all, or sold all of everything um, you would then find out you later need it and you kind of go no oh, crap I didn't mean to do that and everybody's sad and yada yada however there should be a donkey here any moment soon so I'm just gonna wait by the chute and get myself hopefully another skull uh, I'm also gonna take the fat because fat makes oil so yeah back in a bit okay I've made a fair bit of money I sold a whole load of silver quality wine to the inn um, I don't think I'm gonna make a lot of money because the price is going down right rapidly it's interesting the mechanic is um, the more things you sell to 
an individual, the less value they have. So if you glut the market with one thing, then, you know, it goes down. Um, oh, well, I suppose that's how it works in the real world. But it's um, moon day, it means the astrology is in. I've got more than enough money to make the trade license and also go and buy both sets of books, I suspect. Um, so we should be able to buy that and that because that's only 15 silver. Um, yeah, and then we can, well, I'll walk back. I'll not use the teleport stone unless I hear the tinkle of the uh, donkey. Because that teleport stone's handy for when you are wandering about. Uh, in fact, let me use that. And use that. And that should give us... We're still shy on the red technology. Uh, I mean, I could... Actually, let's go back and have a, a word of about There are the red skill books. Now, red skill we can farm. But we still need a hell of a lot of it. And green skill is the area that we're, we're not shy. So let's have a look. What's the red skill book? Plus 25, plus 50. Oh, sorry. We'll have both. We can afford them. Uh, and then we should be able to use both of those as well. That should give us still not quite enough red. Okay, fine. Well, we'll need to do some stuff that involves red points then building crafting stuff things like that which we can do we make billets and stuff for the um, cremation that's uh, easily done but yeah anyway well we'll see you in a bit but we are hopefully getting close to be able to make marble polish marble technology which means that we should be able to then really start upping the quality of our graveyard which will hopefully vastly improve the score and yada yada and while that we're doing that we're also there you go well uh i'm actually not bothered you know because i'm just going to rip its skull out anyway and burn it <laughs> sorry it sounds gross doesn't it but uh well it probably is gross actually uh but yeah anyway i will uh get that done i think that will put us on four skulls which is what we need for the the last skull wall and then we'll have a look at these blood fountain things, because that's obviously something we need to do as well. But unless these... You see, I think that was only going to take us to 12. And unless you can put something like, you know, five of these blood fountains in, which would seem a little bit excessive. Either that, or when you get so far, Snake gives you more sort of another quest to put in there. Oh, this one's nice and easy. Uh, yeah, we'll extract the skull and we'll have his uh, skin and we'll have his meat and we shall have the fat because all of that, well, I mean, everything is useful. Let's not be, let's not beat around the bush, it's all good stuff, uh, but all of that that fat can be used to make five fat I should say can be used to make oil which means I'm not faffing around with hemp seeds and this guy is toast oh we still got a little bit of a donkey action left uh, okay there we go right well I'm not sure how many I need more billets so I shall what I've been doing is chopping the trees down in the graveyard and then taking the logs over and getting the billets made before the zombies can restock me. Um, so I will continue doing that and I will see you again in a little while. All right, it's uh, the the lady day, for want of a better word. Uh, we're going to leave that be and we just need to drop off a few bits and pieces in here. But um, we should be able to do the frog thing we can also get the trade license we've got more than enough money to do that and uh, we need to get rid of those billets that i'm carrying around oh and we also need to go here and uh, 
see about a uh, a skull wall decoration and, uh, and while I'm at it I need to make a note of what is actually required Let's see we can't there is that's already there so we can't do that twice can we no uh, and there's no way to thing so let's go for skulls on the wall and there we go so that is maxed out everything except for that and for that we need polished stone so five polished stone five paste and a stone repair kit and I need probably two of those but hopefully anyway <laughs> I don't know where they're going to go we'll find out but yeah, uh, so we'll get that together as well. And then tomorrow is Quake Day when we can go and see the merchant. And he will he will do his thing. We've got, I think, one, one corpse delivery due. Because I think there's one left in the, in the donkey basket. Let's have a look. Yeah, one. Uh, and I'm carrying enough billet around for hopefully two more corpse burning spots and we can pop those down one and a two now I know that donkey's going to turn up the moment the moment I head off this way to the inn that bell's going to go. It's probably going to go at the least convenient point, but we've got the frogs. Let's go and see. Actually, it doesn't matter what day. Yeah, no. We have to go. We might be able to kill two birds with one stone. We'll find out. But, uh, yeah, we are pushing the quests. I'm kind of avoiding doing the cooking quests because I just find that kind of stuff relatively tedious. And yeah, just I suppose me. That's just me, but there we go. Right, so we trade with you and we sell you those for three. So we'll go and see you. Give her frogs. Take the perfume. And then she trades fish. Don't know whether I've got those or not. And then we go over to you and we say perfume. And we get us, and we got a thing. Uh, I'm asking you, sir, but maybe you can. I need a romantic story. I think I know I can get a good story for you. Yep, yeah, she's shallow. <laughs> okay, so you want a story. And to do that, we need to talk. Give him a silver wine and ask him for a story. Okay. Do we need to get a gold story there? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we've got some bronze story out of it. That's still better than the kick in the face. And the donkey bell hasn't gone yet. So next thing is the following day we're going to do the merchant thing and yeah I'll uh, I'm just going to pass the time until that comes along and uh, yeah I'll see you in a moment. All right so it's quite day um, I have got a corpse embalming so I want to check whether that's I've dug the grave site all we need to do is go and get the uh, corpse if he's ready and get him interred and then we can carry on how are you doing you are almost there wait for it wait for it wait for it and done so it wasn't the best I mean we obviously had better you know, like some eight eight point and in fact I think we've had a nine point corpse before now which we may even have some in the ground I can't remember <laughs> over this one here 
this is a seven point and this one is a, a seven yeah seven point as well however we want to go and buy our trade license uh, Aristo we're gonna need to get gold back and back and back God knows how we get gold I've not even seen a gold coin other than on the uh, thingy uh, and now all we need to do is go and see the merchant and that will clear another quest line and then I think we'll depending on time well no we'll do it anyway we'll get that one of those blood fountains done so that's uh, that's the thing I don't know how long I've been recording it's difficult I mean I've been playing for probably about two and a half hours now maybe even three hours um, I'm trying to think yeah longer actually <laughs> it's uh, it is quite scary sometimes just how where the time goes but let's go and see this fella I have my oh you want the gold star dinners okay uh, we'll be super rich but first we'll open our first office in this barn we'll put pallets here and take the crates of goods from here every quake day crates that's right we're in big so we need to pack our products wooden crates because uh, any kind of goods you don't need to pack only vegetables although food shortage prices quite a bit but if you can find some cheap labor selling other goods can be profitable too okay I see the cheap labor let me see I think for start I can sell one crate per week that's not too much nobody's heard of us we'll need to invest in marketing and make our first sale two main goals increase our trumpet level to three that means we'll be able to sell three crates per week and first second sell our first seven okay how can we improve our trumpet thingy make a bunch of advertising flies and leave them on an office desk <laughs> okay in my world we use celebrities to do so but you have mrs charm to represent okay that's a great idea I know okay so how am I going to transport the obvious way is to move them along the road maybe there's another okay so the tunnel but I'll need to build an elevator okay uh can I buy that's 50 silver I can't um, ooh wow so this is we build a pallet which uses fame and Fitch marketing campaign is flyers uh, and we've got one pallet there and then we've got nothing there how do you build crates again? Oh, we'll have to craft it. No. So we can do the flyers. We can come down here. Now we've got that shortcut in. So that's unlocked. Yay. <laughs> the simple pleasures in life. Um, okay. Crate must be up here. Now I've got a fair amount of stuff stockpiled. But what can we crate? Do we need anything special to make a crate? Crate factory. Yeah, apparently we do. Uh, we can make a paper press as well. But what do we need? 12 pieces of stone and some simple iron parts. We also need to do those things. I don't think I've got enough stone to do the... Uh, I've only got... I've got... No, that's marble. Uh, stone. What am I like for stone? I haven't got any. That's what I'm like for stone. Uh, right, so I need to sort out some stone, we need to get polished stone, we've got paste, and uh, we need a stone repair kit, so I'm going to get that, we're going to get this um, blood fountain done, that is that is my finishing thing today, and we can look at the crates next time, um, so I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I need five of these, 
that's simple enough. Simple, simple. Oh, and we get blue points for that. Which reminds me, we've got enough blue points to invest in another tech level, although I may leave that until next time as well. Um, okay, and I need a stone repair kit. Needs some iron parts. How many did it, iron parts did it need? Two. Okay, that's not a problem. Uh, let me just get a little bit of energy. Simple iron parts. Bump. Off you go. And we should be able to make a stone repair kit now. And then we just need five of these polishing paste, which should be in here. Oh, we've got that bronze storage put away as well. Let's go and have a look at this. Uh, Am I carrying anything that needs putting away? Yeah, a little bit. Some of that, for example. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll carry the iron parts. It's not a biggie. Oh, here comes snake. So maybe we can, uh, if we can get. Well, let's see first things first. If we can get ourselves to. Excuse me, mate. Out of the way. Make me, oh wow, yeah. Fill the pool with, t ah. Okay, let me get the other one made because I know we've got everything we need to do it and I shall be back in a second. All right, I've picked up 20 blood. I've got the necessaries to build the second blood fountain. So we're going to do you. Uh, we're going to rotate you and put you there. Uh, see these? Yeah, these don't have any interaction. So fill the pool. That's five. And fill the pool. That's five. That makes it 20. Um, sorry, I just thought that was looking like something else. Uh, okay, about the ritual. Place is scary. What a sick mind you have. <laughs> Got the place checked. Now I just need some devoted followers. Also I need a Damascus sword. Or Damask sword. You'll see, just forge one or buy one at the mountain fort. Okay. Leave. So... We're at 60. About this stuff I'm looking for. Pull with the town, every okay. The mirror of pride, everybody knows the bishop carries it everywhere. Yeah, we know that. We see him looking at it regularly. Uh, Eternal Busy told me that the master's most precious artifact, so that's the Inquisitor. And the salty fart, the merchant has it's weird. We normally just use spoons in the town or hands. I hate politeness. <laughs> okay. We've got a damask sword. And what was the bit about the ritual? Okay. Alright. Leave. Cool. Well, that's done. I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. So... Excellent. Well, on that note, we're going to call it an episode until next time thank you very much for watching guys next time we'll plaff around with these crates and maybe have a look at this damask sword thing um i'm gonna guess that we probably need smithing to take us up to here now we could afford that but i don't want to afford that because what i want to do and like while we're at it let us think to get, get this Uh, we need that and we can't afford those right now but we will be able to especially seeing as we are reasonably wealthy and we'll be even more wealthy as we go forward so yeah crating next time until next time thanks for watching bye for now